Yo, what's up, people? We're gonna be jumping into Gintama episode 188. Last time we left off, we just finished an arc that was really, really good that I really, really liked. Um, it was uh, about it, it was more depth. It was more character uh, depth of uh, Soko. So yeah, uh, now we're going to jump into episode 188. Probably not gonna be a serious arc anymore. But yeah, let's jump into it. Boom. Oh, morning glory. I wake up at morning glory all the time. Oh no, that's not good. Oh. Morning glory must have been... Morning glory must have been blessed. Why does your mom have devil... Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Damn, this guy's uh this guy's dedicated. Oh morning glory died. Damn. That's rough. You're gonna blame your mom over that? Aww. Aww. See? Mom's a sweetheart. Moms are moms are cute, man. That's why I love moms. That's why I love MILFs. That's cute. Oh, okay. This is cute. Wow, school. Didn't know that exists here. Are we gonna see an adult here or what? What? The hell is a haircut? <laughs> oh, bro, what is that? Oh, God. Women. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cute. Oh my gosh! <笑>ですですエピソードマイトビッグホールオンワイトビッグホールオンワイトビッグホールオンワイトビッグホールオンワイトビッグホールオンワイトビッグホールオンワイトビッグホールオンワイトビッグホールオンワイトビッグホールオ
Oh my gosh. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, come on, teacher. Hey! Boo! Let's. I want to hear more about Mado. Yeah, let's go, Daigoro! Mado! Aw, look at this. He has fans. Let's go! No. I want to hear the full story. Oh, isn't that his wife now? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> yeah? Damn. That must be really, really kind for them to take him in. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, I was gonna say. <笑>俺は地面に向かって唾を吐き捨て、周りの気を。ほ、ホイスボイス。ホイスボイス。ホイスボイス。ホイスボイス。ホイスボイス。ホイスボイス。ホイスボイス。ホイスボイス。ホイ
なんだか頭が痛くて前みたいにうまく書けませんわからないけどお酒も飲んでないのにあ酒が出ましたあ目からお酒を出しているのかな That's... そう思ったら That's お酒が止まらなくなって困りましたそしたらまだおまだおまったく今度は逃げないようにちゃんと見とくのよそれから、まだを買うなら、外は恥ずかしいから、うちの中で買いなさい。This is very similar to the story of the first guy. She's the one who took him. まだを、またお酒飲んだのいや、もう、飲まねえさ。Oh, wow! 8月8日。<gasps> really? からまだおは変わりました。毛をきれいさっぱりたち。お母さんのいない間あらゆる家事をこなしますはあ。求人雑誌を読みやさい。お母さんは最初はまたおって呼んだけど。おまいかし。と呼ぶようになった。Please, please don't end this off with him just being back to Madao again. I know, like, that's part of his character, but like, this is too. Whoa! Sorry, lady. She.、Uh, unfortunately, he is married. Oh,、uh, well, that's not happening. Oh, wow. Oh. Did she say, Ara Ara? There. Oh my goodness, she. Fuck, she's wife material, but like, I'm like, you have a wife, dude, and your wife is good. Your wife is also really nice. So, you know, you gotta stay loyal to your wife. But damn it! She is wife. Yeah! They were like father and mother. そうそうしてみたけど、なんだかこそばよかったので、やりました。緊張してらっしゃるみたいですね。え、ああ、なんせ、まだおから、ま、人間への復活がかかってるんで。ああ、そうなんですか。僕と同じですね。ああ、なあ
my gosh. <sighs> Fuck. Wow, it's wa oh my gosh. ちゃんと幸せにな僕は知っていましたまだはもうとっくに咲いているって my god that was a masterpiece <laughs> novel yeah what what, what is what? <laughs> what? I'm not mad at that. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. Ah, uh, but... <sighs> Only thing I didn't like was how the dad got back with the mom. I know the way Japan kind of treat, like... The, I know the way Japan treats cheaters are different compared to everywhere else in the world. You know, like... I don't know if you guys noticed, but there is, there is like this like questionnaire. I, don't, I, I know this is not like to say every Japanese people treat it this way, but like there are lots of, you know, uh, the way they view cheating with prostitution is different. A lot of times if you like, search this up on YouTube right now, like, or I don't know if it's on YouTube, but I know I saw on Instagram where like a, a guy like asked around w women in Japan, like a lot of women and a lot of times, like he asked them like, hey, is it considered cheating if your man uses uh, like, you know, hires a prostitute and a lot of them said, no, that doesn't count as cheating because that is him releasing his urges as long as he still loves me. You know, it, it's it's like, I like you know that I, I don't know if it's like a culture difference. I don't know. I mean, uh, in one way I can kind of see it. Like you know, that's like their way of saying that they masturbate. But like at the same time, that's still fucked up in my opinion, right? You still you're still unfaithful. You know, despite it being a service. You know, and I know like there's like a whole way of saying like you know professions and real life you know their career their career job is completely separate but like still like you know you have your wife you know to do that for you why are you hiring someone else like is your wife not enough you know that's still in my opinion that's still an unfaithful thing and i don't know why you would get a process get a prostitute unless you are you are doing it and if you are doing it, that's a huge fucking insult to your wife and your family. But yes, that's all I'm saying. The way that her mom, like, I, I don't like how that end, the ending was. That's the only thing I didn't like about the ending, uh, that the dad got back to the family. I feel like it's okay for him to, like, it's okay for him to move on and get into, a, become a better person at the end, but that still doesn't warrant that still doesn't give you the right to go back to the family in my opinion right if my wife cheated on me you know uh, uh, because she hit rock bottom divorcing her ass and if she comes up to me and say hey I'm, i've turned into a better person i'd be like okay that's good for you but you still are not getting into my house like fuck you we're done it, like like I i'm happy for you we can kind of somewhat be friends and i can tolerate your existence but i do not want you in my house a cheater is a cheater like I, I like you of course you can change but you still can't change the, the hurt that you've given me you feel me you feel me uh, and the hurt not only to me but also to my child our child you know like sure maybe my child can s uh, sometimes visit you but that still doesn't you know nah I, that's but again culture difference maybe i don't know I, I, how do you guys feel about it but yes, um, yeah, this episode was, other than that, this episode was a 10 out of 10. I'm like, I'm not even going to front. This was a 10 out of 10 episode and it made me tear up. It generally made me tear up. An actual tear came out and I don't know. 
I don't know if this is supposed to be like a huge episode of Gintama. Like that's the thing. I I never like you know you can sometimes tell like you know when you when you when you watch Yoshiwara arc right you can tell like oh yeah the aura in here is huge. There's definitely a top like you know like one of the best thing Gintama's ever produced like like statistically or whatever right or objectively. But this one this one like really moved me. This like. I don't know, like, and again, I don't know if this is like a, like, one of those episodes where it is huge, right? I don't know. But, you know, like this and maybe the Gintai episode where they were eating in, like, like you know, that one-shot episode. Uh, and it turns out that the Gintoki and Otai were fakes. Though That and this, I felt like they were, like, they didn't feel like a huge episode, but they were big to me. Like, they resonated with me a lot, you know, um, and it really, that, like, as a big fan of Mado, this, it, this really, really touched me, you know, and it really and reinforces why Mado is one of the best characters, like, ever, like, seriously, ever, which is why it's a fucking travesty that he, he, he got into 18th. Someone said I was just overreacting, or I don't know what they said, but like, they said, like, you are thinking too much about like the rankings motherfucker of course i am how's it going 18th how sorry my, my dog my dog started getting angry at me he's looking at me but still how is how's it going 18th look at this shit look at this shit this is a fucking masterpiece are you disagreeing with me is anyone gonna disagree with me please Please, tell me, tell me, how can you disagree with me that say, uh, if Hasegawa is not a top 10 character? Please, enlighten me. Unless, uh, well, you guys, you guys are more experienced, of course. They're, like, you know, you guys know all, I haven't seen all of Gintama. I haven't seen Takasugi, I haven't seen Sakamoto, I haven't seen uh, Katsura at his best. But still, like, Haseg, like, still, like, come on, come on. Hasegawa is just perfect. He is perfect. Like, come on. He is he is quite literally fucking awesome. Like I, ten out of ten. He is a ten out of ten character. And this episode is a ten out. Of, it's a ten out of ten. Maybe, maybe it's not a ten out of ten. Maybe like later on down the line, down in the future, I'm going to look back at this episode and thinking, maybe it's not a ten out of ten. You know, compared to all the other ten out of ten char- uh, ten out of ten episodes that are going to come out of Gintama. But me personally, like right now, I feel this is a the the fact that this already made me feel a, some sort of way that moved my heart that I teared up in my opinion that warrants a 10 out of 10 for now and I really doubt I not really doubt but may, yeah maybe it might change in the future but the fact that it can make me cry is, a, is it, you know is more than qualifies for it making it into a 10 out of 10 but yes this was fucking fantastic um back to back really good like I thought you know, coming back from a two-episode arc that I liked, we were going to jump into comedy, um, but uh, we ended up seeing, we ended up finding gold. You know, like this is actual gold. And also the way the the com- the comedic payoff of this uh, of this was really funny too. Uh, I wasn't mad at that. I wasn't mad at that at all. Um, should I talk about why I wasn't mad at that? Nah, I think I think you guys can understand why I wasn't. I wouldn't be mad at that. But yeah, no, this was fantastic. Fucking love this episode. Fucking love this. Uh, fucking love the arc two episodes ago as well. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna leave this video here. See you guys next time. Bye bye.